Hello everyone, we will continue the topic smart forms and we are discussing or focusing on the use of currency slash quantity field tab of the smart form and in which scenario you should make use of this tab whenever you are passing the values of amount or quantity fields from the program to the smart form and your reference field is not in the same structure, then you can use this tab to resolve the errors. If you remember, for the header, for the header, our reference field is in the same structure. We do not have any error at all. For the item, yes, we are passing the reference of any another structure. So in that case, we simply made use of the currency slash quantity tab of the smart form. So what we did, if you remember, for the item cost, we are getting the error. So in this tab itself, we are saying whatever is the item cost for that particular column, what is the reference field work area, first work area currency column. This is what we are always, always doing from the driver program. Whenever the item cost will flow to the smart form, in the smart form itself, we are saying that for the item cost, what is the reference field? First work area currency. If you know, if you see in the first work area, what is the column? C-U-R-R. Here we have the value of the currency. Now we will see in the debugging mode, are we getting a expected output or not? So what I will do? I will put a breakpoint in the driver program. I will go to SC38 transaction code and I will breakpoint is there. I will run. I will go for order number one. I will go to desktop three. I will execute the first query. I will execute the second query. So this is our data in the first internal table. And this is our data in the second internal table. Now we are passing these internal tables to the smart form. I will go to the smart form. Anyways, we have a breakpoint in the smart form. Now, this is your header and this is your item. Now, I will simply, simply move that data from internal table to work area. If you see, what is work area, LS data? This is our work area. And what is LS data hyphen C-U-R-R? It is INR, Indian rupees. It means it is a reference field. Now, if you see, what is LS data hyphen C-U-R-R? It is INR. Now, we are saying whenever, whenever it will display the item cost, whenever it will display the item cost, just see what we did in the smart form. Whenever it will display the item cost, what is the reference field? C-U-R-R. -R. What is the value of C-U-R-R? I-N-R. So previously, it is not recognizing the reference field. Now we tell in the smart form itself that for this particular item cost, this is the reference field. Now if I will go to execute, you can simply see we got the output. Previously, output was not there. Now we got the output. Previously, we are getting the error. Work area 
hyphen item cost reference field is missing and we simply simply put a reference field in the smart form itself and we are able to resolve the problem so what is the summary of the video just take a full recap what we did previously if i will come on to our first smart form if i will come on to our first smart form in the first smart form what you did you are passing the order number from the program and in the smart form itself you have written the logic to fetch that data no problem everything is perfectly fine we got the expected output no reference field error at all because everything is here we are fetching everything here itself now after that we simply come on to the best practice that selection logic or select query should never never be in the smart form it should always always be in the driver program so we have written the queries in the driver program if i will come on to our driver program this is our driver program now from the driver program you are passing the header and item data directly to the smart form you are not writing any query in the smart form your queries are in the driver program itself now how we can pass the data to the smart form through form interface you all know in the form interface we took two internal tables one for the header and one for the item one for the header one for the item here local structures will not work so we created the global structures for the first we took the reference field in the same structure itself so no problem at all but for the item we pass the reference from already existing structure when we run the smart when we run the when we call the smart form through the program we are unable to get the output so in that case i told you what is the solution run the smart form independently and you will recognize what the problem is when we run the smart form independently we got a error that work area item cost reference field is unknown then we simply understood why we got the error because for this item cost we the reference field is not from the same structure it is from different structure so how you can resolve the problem first solution take the reference field in the same structure and pass the reference through the same but in our current requirement it does not work because our crack cur r is not in the item table our currency is not in the item table so we need to go for second approach but the second approach we followed in the smart form itself we told sap that for the item cost this is the reference field and after that when we run the program we are able to get the expected output so in any interview if someone ask you tell us in which scenario you make use of the currency slash quantity field so you are simple one liner answer whenever you are passing the values of amount or quantity fields from the driver program to the smart form if reference field is in the same structure no problem if reference field is from the different structure at that time you have to pass the reference field through the currency slash quantity field tab of the smart form so this is our full topic 
how to write the logic in that driver program. And whenever you have currency slash quantity fields, how you can handle those currency slash quantity fields and how you can resolve the issues. So that's it in this video. Thank you.